Um, I got a Bob Kelly makeup kit and was doing um, appliances and, and little burn scars and things on the, the kids in the neighborhood. And they would go home and their parents would run out screaming. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I started doing that and then I, I met a guy named Paul Smith that I uh, apprenticed for when I was uh, 13. And uh, I started working on films and commercials with him. And then I kind of branched off my own and started doing uh, my own thing. Um, I got into doing silicone masks because I wanted to bring Hollywood to the people. I wanted people to be able to have to, uh, instead of having to sit in a makeup chair for five hours to get the effect and cost thousands of dollars, I wanted to have something that could put over their head and five minutes be transformed into somebody brand new. And I came up with the idea of silicone because they were using silicone for theme parks and things like that. And I thought, well, silicone's translucent, it's strong, um, it looks like just like skin. Um, so that's why I chose that medium. How I got into the haunt industry is actually pretty much the same time I got into the masks. Um, I, uh, uh, you know, attended a uh, conference called Transworld, and this has never been done before. And I had a booth of my own, and um, it just the, the response was just amazing, overwhelming. It was just people couldn't believe it; they never seen it before because it's never been done before. And uh, I had the uh, head of the guy of the uh, trans world come up and said, man, he said, you just stole the whole show. He couldn't believe the realistic nature of the masks. And um, so we got a lot of, lot of, lot of coverage over that. Um, and a lot of haunts have uh, ordered our masks. Um, a really great haunt and a really good guy that owns a haunt uh, that has some more masks is uh, Ben Armstrong from Netherworld. Um, this is a fantastic haunt, um, amazing in Atlanta. Um, and uh, I've just been um, uh, attending conventions and uh, haunted, haunted house conventions and uh, trying to get people to uh, uh, educate people on the masks and what they can do um, because they're great for haunted houses because when you have the press come up you can just throw this mask on and boom you're transformed into a Hollywood effect in five minutes. So it's great for a queue line, it's great for the press and things of that nature. Yeah, actually, I went to a uh, nightclub one time and uh, when I first made the first realistic mask, and this is a, a not nightclub, but kind of a, it's, it's a European bar, and I knew the owner, and I walked in there and nobody had a clue it was a mask. And I uh, went up to the bar and ordered some drinks and I let the manager in on it, and the manager had the bartenders, and uh, the manager's from Ireland, and, and he was uh, uh, hysterical because he said, come here, he said, I want you to go up there and complain that you're too ugly and they wouldn't serve you. So I walked up in there, I said, this is the guy, he's too ugly, he wouldn't serve me. And the manager's going and just laughing, couldn't believe it, and the guy's like, I didn't say that, I didn't say that, and I knew the bartender. <laughs> and I took the mask off, and he says, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you, I can't believe this. <laughs> And uh, I think the fact is that you could be somebody else and it's kind of cool that you can jump into another character. And uh, I got a book uh, that had uh, actually done by Dick Smith and it showed uh, very simplistic ways of doing makeup. And uh, so I, uh, when I was about uh, eight, I'd have my dad help me and he would, I did a werewolf one year where uh, I took Dr. Sh uh, Scholl's lamb's wool and put it on my, my head and had the fangs and had the nose and, and the whole bit. Um, and then one year I dressed like Gene Simmons and my brother did the makeup for me. So, so somehow I, in my family there's always been talent uh, with artistry and uh, I kind of picked that up from them. And uh, you know, they're, them doing makeups on me for Halloween and things like that. You know, I really got excited about it. And, to, and actually my first um, horror genre, but not horror genre, but my first inspiration was the Kiss album, um, I think it was uh, Destroyer, and it had Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, and all of them, and they were in makeup, and they had all the, the suits on, and I thought, that's cool, those are monsters, that's neat, that's, that's awesome, you know, and that was the first thing, and I kept looking at that album cover again and again and again, thinking that's just so cool, the boots and the whole thing, so it was a combination of things that got me into the horror genre. Hi guys, I'm Rusty Slusser with SPFX Masks. I own SPFX Masks and we are here with America's Top Haunts and uh, it's a real privilege to uh, talk with these guys about the haunted house industry, which has always fascinated me. Um, and uh, I'm just happy to be here.